Leroy's Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough Part 45. Alright, now we're going to fight this dude over here. I always go with Rogue Pokemon. I've dedicated myself to them. Yeah, I don't think dedicating yourself to bird-type Pokemon is a very good idea. <laughs> just because some people actually like to use electric-type moves, and they'll just kill you every time. Kind of like Starmie. So, yeah. So, anyways, um... Yeah, we're still heading towards Fuchsia City. It's taking, like, forever, because, you know, this is, like, the longest chain of routes in the game. And, you know, it might even be one of the longest chain of routes in any Pokemon game. It's just, when you're going to Fuchsia City this way, it's gonna be a long time. There's no way around it. Especially when you're fighting every single trainer. So yeah. I'm actually out of Thunderbolts, so I have to start using Water po Oh, you jerk! Why did you live? Why would you think about living? Ah, oh, great. Okay. Yeah, we're really lo running low on attacks here with the Starmie. I might have to go heal pretty soon. So anyways, that Sparrow's gonna die. And, um, you have a Pharaoh now, so I might as well just stay in and kill it with Water Pulse. So yeah, yeah, Pharaohs are pretty darn strong, so watch out for that in case, you know, you don't have a strong Pokemon to take him out. Uh, obviously, Pharaoh is the evolved form of Sparrow. It has really high attack, and it's pretty fast, too, so yeah. I always liked using Pharaoh on my team. Even though a lot of people prefer Pidgeot as their flying type, I really like using Pharaoh. It was just, I'm already using a Charizard, which is flying type, so yeah, but normally I really like using those. So that's my take on Pharaoh. And we got up a level too, so that's good. Yeah, Pharaohs also give out a lot of experience. And a Pidgeotto, alright, so... I think I'm gonna go to um, Himali just because I don't think I have enough attacks to kill that thing. And Himali has a Rock Slide, so that should work out. Ah, uh, so why do they have to use Quick Attack every time and get critical hits every time? It makes me so mad. Ah, uh, but whatever. Alright, there we go. So that thing's gonna die, and Hitmonlee's gonna get up a level, alright! So, I'm really surprised that Hitmonlee and Starmie are growing so fast. I mean, I thought it'd take them a lot longer to catch up with everything else, but they're getting pretty darn close. So anyways, I think, um, let's see, I'm gonna take this item off Starmie. And I'm gonna switch Hitmonlee in the front just because I Starmie's pretty much done right now. It doesn't have any moves left to kill anything. So, let me put the Amulet coin back on Hitmonlee. I'm probably just going to put that on whatever's in the front so I can get the most amount of money from each battle. And let's see. Hidden item, hidden item. Oh, no hidden items over here. That's odd. Whatever, I'll just come over and fight this dude now. Um, and it looks like another bird type trainer, so yeah. Not going to lose. Not when the wind's blowing my way. How can the wind be blowing, like, your way? I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just face in the same direction as you. Then the wind would be blowing my way. But whatever. So anyways, Captain Kick's gonna go in and throw some rocks at this- Oh, you missed. Darn. <laughs> I wanted to throw rocks at Sparrow, but now I can't. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna kill this thing now. Alright, there we go. That thing's gonna die. And let's see what else you have. Pidgey, alright. I don't know why all these bird- or whatever they're called, bird keepers. Why do they all have to have so many flying types? I mean, this route is long enough, yet they have to pack every single team full of, like, five Pokemon just to make it more annoying. I mean, I swear, they just made this route purposely just to make everyone mad and just... Ugh. Yeah, just annoying. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna kill some more of these things. Realistically, I could probably be killing everything with Brick Break, but whatever, I don't really care. I'll just keep using Rock Slide, it's working fine. And I just say that because Rock Slide has a chance of missing, so... Like that! <laughs> so it's kind of risky, but what? Oh boy! No! Oh, oh no, you did not just do that. You did not... That, that, was, that was crap. That was just absolute crap. Let's see, what am I going to do? Uh, let's go to Ivan, why not? Ivan could use some experience, you know, so let's see. Let's give this thing a thrash. And that will put it in its place. Alright, there we go. So let's see what else we got here. A sparrow again! Alright, so let's just kill this thing. This is all revenge for killing my Hitmonlee. I must avenge Hitmonlee. And there we go. So, 
seeing how everything's pretty much dead right now, Starmie's out of moves, and oh yeah, the wind turn, blame it on the wind, sure. So yeah, anyways, since Hitmonlee's dead and Starmie's out of moves, I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon really quick. Okay, so everything's completely healed up, and we're ready to start fighting this trainer now, and start fighting the rest of these trainers, so yeah. What are you looking at? What do you think I'm looking at? Maybe it's that giant mohawk. It just looks so weird. And plus the fact that you're riding a motorcycle in the grass. I mean, who rides motorcycles in the grass? But anyways. Oh, we got some coughings here. I don't know why these bikers love coughing so much, but they really just kind of annoy me, actually. Just because I don't like fighting poison types, especially this kind. Because they just bug me, you know? Because they like to use smog and poison you, and they just get on your nerves. <laughs> yeah, and he has more coughings. Yeah, pretty much every biker you find is going to have... Coughing or Grimer, and it's just not fun at all. Especially when they can live your hits. Eh, whatever. Actually, even though I can't kill these things now in one hit, I will be able to pretty soon because um, eventually I'll be teaching Starmie the move Psychic, which is super effective against poison types, and then I won't really have any problem killing these things. So yeah. And we have one more Coughing to kill. Actually, if you wanted to right now, you could go get that TM for Psychic, but I'm just going to do it later on, actually, just because it's kind of going out of my way right now. But whatever, I'll show you that later. So we're going to kill that thing finally, and we defeated Biker Jared. Dang, stripped gear. Seriously, dude, why are you riding your motorcycle in the grass? Ah, uh, it's just the weirdest... You know what? You know what? I'm just going to be a hypocrite and ride my bike in the grass, because it's a lot faster. And we're going to fight you now. You use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Yes, of course you do. So I guess this guy has a bunch of crazy good TMs on his Pokemon. I don't know. Let's find out. Hidgey, all right. So, um, now that we have Thunderbolts ready to go again, we can start using that. And that should work out just fine. All right, there we go. Alright, so if I just kill all these things in one hit, I guess I won't ever know if he has TMs on his Pokemon or not. Uh, that's funny. So anyways, we're gonna kill this thing now. He probably just has some dumb move like Aerial Ace. I don't know. Alright, there we go again. So Doduo's gonna die. Doduo, seriously, it's a bird, but it doesn't have wings. I mean, what's with that? Whose idea was that? Let's make a flying Pokemon that doesn't have wings. I mean, that doesn't even make sense. But yeah. And to finish things off, there's a Pidgeotto. I mean, Doduo, you can actually teach the thing fly, and it doesn't have wings. It just doesn't make sense at all. Just, I, I never know how Doduos can possibly fly around. Uh, do they just jump really high? I don't know. I really don't know. So anyways, we're going to go fight you now, because we... Yeah, we have a bunch of these bird dudes to fight over here. It's just filled with them. Yeah, if you have, um... An electric type, an ice type, or a rock type, you're gonna be set with these guys. You won't take or you won't have any problems taking them out. Kinda like Starmie right now with Thunderbolt. But of course I can only use Thunderbolt so many times before I run out. But yeah. Just because they have to put like fifty Pidgeys on this route, I can't kill them all before I run out of moves. Ah oh, jeez, more sparrows too. You know, Pidgeys and sparrows, I've seen enough of these things. Show me something new. Like, there have to be some more flying types to show me in this game, like Farfetch'd, you know. I wouldn't mind seeing some more Doduos, but why do you have to show me Pidgey and Sparrow 50 times? I mean, seriously. And I actually don't mind, mind fighting Pharaohs because they give out a decent number of experience points, so that's always good. Plus, it doesn't take... You know, I don't have to really <laughs> go all out to kill him just because I can knock him out in one hit. And you have a Pidgey to finish things off. All right. So we're just going to kill you as well. Die, Pidgey. All right, there we go. Okay, so you died just as easily as the other 50 bird keepers we fought. And there we go. Not ready yet. Okay, so we still have time to fight you, I guess. <laughs> so let's do that now. If teams on sale to sell down department store, teams are really rare, but no HMs, so you have HMs on 
Wow. How do you have HMs? I, I thought I had all the HM moves. I really thought I had all the HMs, but apparently this guy has some too. That's odd, because I thought there was only one copy of every single HM in the game. But apparently this guy must have somehow got one, magically. I don't know. <laughs> but really, I'm guessing the only HM move you could possibly teach to any of his Pokemon is Fly. And I happen to have HMO2 for Fly, so there's no possible way he can have that HM. So that just confuses me. Yeah, so I can add that to the list of 10,000 things in this game that don't make any sense at all. So anyways, that's the last Pokemon in his team, and... Um, we still have a long ways to go in this route, so we will continue it next time.